with us, Sri and Kiraji. A global namaste to you. Oh, and a global oh, namaste oh. to you, my love. What a blessing to be here with you on this glorious day. Oh, same here, same here. We are so excited to listen to you. But before that, I'd like to tell our viewers about Sri Ramji and Sri and Kiraji. So they are from Ecuador, yes? And yes. they have consistently been on the cutting edges of ascension consciousness for over 14 years. My God, their lives are dedicated to sharing the path of self-ascension through sacred union with the soul. They have selflessly brought the teachings of self-ascension to the world, along with pioneering several healing modalities, including Avesha quantum healing, quantum clairvoyance, cosmic life regression, and ascended numerology. I am getting excited about this and curious also because these are dancing on my mind. Well, 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 Shriji and Kiraji Global Namaste. And please share with us all these beautiful things that uh, you have done. Well, well, first we want to share with you the beauty you are reflecting, my angel. Yes. What a blessing to be the mirror of you in this moment. Your blessings, your energy, your vibrational frequency is so radiant that the tangible joy, that rainbow bridge that you're wearing today, right, has <laughs> opened up between us. And so sincerely, I, would, I just want to bow before the energy that you have co-created in this moment. Thank you for calling that forward. What a blessing. Yes. You know, and, and I, you're welcome. <laughs> pardon me. I just wanted to add to that, that uh, as you were coming forward, reminding people to post prayers and positive thoughts, I, I want to emphasize the value of conscious intention. When we set in motion a positive intention that I wish only the best for another being or for our planet, I wish only that all beings find peace, whatever the intention is, we send forward a calming, resonant wave of energy and the feedback is that you're doing it, not what the results of it. Just do it and enjoy the radiation of that frequency and so much good will happen. Mm. So thank, thank you, you for bringing that up. Yeah, thank you for calling <laughs> us here. We are honored. We have yep. immense honor ourselves and privilege to have you from Ecuador. What's the time like there? I find it's sunshine, it's sunny. Oh, it's gorgeous. And you know, we're actually here. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, such a beautiful moment. And Sri and I are actually standing in the courtyard of our 200 year old authentic hacienda. And what you're seeing behind us is this is a fountain that we created after we came here. And you'll see this large, large, stunning rose quartz here. Ooh, that rose yeah. quartz has been on a journey with us through our journey of living in the beautiful gifts of Latin America. And we first received the rose quartz from our community when we lived with the Mayan elders in Guatemala, uh, okay. teaching them about what is Namaste? What is Shiva? It was really quite an experience. We had the only Shiva temple, still do. We had the only Shiva temple at Lake Aritlan. And then this beautiful rose quartz came with us to Uruguay. And in Uruguay, it stood in the middle of a uh, huge pyramid inside of the ascended heart energy as a labyrinth. Yes. And now it rests in the center of the world. And the reason we wanted to start here today with all of you was in honor and celebration of, you know, Neil's vision of all of the song, the song of our soul, the song of our heart, the song of humanity. Are we not at the moment where the weaving of the music of that which we are is calling us all into a higher frequency? And so we are here in Ecuador, yet we are with you everywhere. And we are great filled to be here. And let me know if you want a tour. We can take you on a little camera tour if you want. We'll move the camera. Yeah, right. yeah, would, you like would you like a tour? All right. So, okay, so we did try to practice this, assuming you would say yes. <laughs> However, <laughs> bear with us. Okay. So we've had to change cameras. And what I'm going to do is take you on a tour because not only are we starting here at this beautiful fountain of peace and love, 
we're we're in a courtyard. Shri and I were very blessed to restore this 200-year-old hacienda. And right up here where we're going to wind up is our Shiva temple, one of three that we have here. And come, we're going to take you for a journey. All right, I'm carrying the laptop, so forgive me if it bounces. We're going to do our best, but I wanted to show you our Keternath. And I don't know if you, there we go, Sri. I think we've got it. So you can see our Keternath. You see that? Yeah, so Sri and I, right? We were stranded in Keternath because our helicopter could not pick us up. And we were stranded there overnight. We had 19 beautiful pilgrims with us as, because we have been to all the Joytrelingas except two. And when we were there, we had already purchased this property. But the day we purchased it, the clouds were over the mountains. And we didn't know. And it was when we came back that it, Keternath has been with us yeah, always. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of the Shiva. And you see the prayer flags. Those are 44 prayer flags we brought back from Bhutan in December 2019, right Ooh. before the world shut down. We were in New Delhi when the world was shutting down, and we had Ooh. these 44 prayer flags with us. So they've been put up to radiate out to the world. Wow, this is amazing. Like oh my God, at the right oh. time, huh? The, right, right. Plan, the divine energy. <laughs> right, and is that not a song? When you're and, and when you're up there and we have little casitas inside the prayer flags, you hear the voices of the totality. It is another song, is it not? The song of our prayers. And, and when we heard what you were saying, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to show her that. <laughs> so you want to see the temple? Should we go to the temple? Should we finish yeah, there? Yeah, All right, yeah, come on with us, everyone. So again, this is an authentic 200-year-old hacienda, um, the first one in Ecuador to be rated five-star. And, okay. uh, and we have spirals and energy everywhere, um, so you can kind of see things. So we're going, to be, we're going to enter the temple. Now, in our temple, we play mantras 24 hours a day. So we never know what mantra is playing when we go in. So whatever's playing right now, I know it is the mantra. So. As we prepare, we first walk into our um, satsang room where Sri has harmonium and my um, beautiful sitar is here. And then we go into our uh, actual meditation area. So come on in and enjoy. Here Om we go. Shivaya, of course. Oh, so Om Namah. Shivaya. This is our satsang room. This is where yeah. she and I deliver satsang and meditations when people come. We celebrate traditions from all over the world. And over both of our doors, I just want to, there we go. Here we are. All mm -hmm. okay. oh, mm. Everywhere. Beautiful. And so now we're going to walk you through the portal oh, right nice. here yeah. into our main. You got it, honey? All right. And we'll just take a moment and say hello. Hello. It's looking beautiful. And so we're going to, we're now kind of in the corner. This is our heirloom Gita that I brought back from India on that trip. And uh, I, I also am a Gita scholar, so we often teach from the Gita. And as we're coming around, these are all hand painted, beautiful mantras of the higher chakras. These are beautiful watercolors from India that we meditate with, all handmade, about 200 years old, and here are all the mantras. Mm, so divine, huh? You can get, like, seeing itself is, is creating a divine feeling. Right? Yeah. It's all the prayer. And now, meet our beloved Violet Ray Shiva. Ah. Oh, wow, beautiful. Oh, and so, but I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I mean, so, so serenely, you know, and, and nicely in the yoga pose, you know, meditative pose. Is yes. The... Awesome. Yes. And so we wanted to just kind of give you a little tour, and we've opened up our miracle box. And this miracle box is a priest. It's uh, roughly 300 years old. Um, and it's a very old box for writing the slokas and all of the prayers. And this box receives people's miracle requests all year long. 
And then on New Year's Eve, which we'll be doing again this New Year's, we energize that for the entire planet. And so we wanted to bring that miracle energy to all of you today because of the miracle that you're all creating and that Neil has called together with this incredible family. So thank you for this moment of letting us share our temple with you. And we're gonna walk back to the courtyard as we're breathing in that energy and the energy of, this is this special Shiva, I won't, um, actually was of my vision. It's a one of a kind and it was consecrated at the Shiva Linga in Ujjain. And uh, that's when we, and the uh, whole story. <laughs> Amazing, right. divine, just. Thank you for allowing us to share the this blessing as with you. We're back. Yeah. So there's the mountains around our retreat center. We live in the Andes Mountains, but it never snows. It's actually very hot here. And so we live in a, it's, it's high mountain jungle because we also have the Amazon River here as well. So it's the integration of all the elements. And we're sharing this with you in the spirit of the breath because our air smells like eucalyptus. Our air smells like pine. And so we're inviting you on this day of blessings to remember the greatest gift we can receive from this planet is this, the ability to breathe and know that that's enough, right? That just a breath is enough. So we're gonna, we're gonna work our way back to our little area and hoping, and we're here for you. How can we serve you today? <laughs> Well, well, uh, thank you for sharing this beautiful, the, the tour that you brought us, the different, the divine vibes that you shared was, uh, is still, you know, it's still in our minds, it's still in my mind. And uh, before you continue, if you, if you allow me, I'd like to just something very nice that we, we had released. Oh, Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Om Namah Shivaya 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 very touching thank you so much for sharing if i had roses if i had flowers they would be on you right now so please feel the garland that i am laying on your divine presence and being you are such a magical beautiful one thank you for your presence what a gift thank you <laughs> thank you all right well maybe you can you showed us all around so this retreat center you set it up yourself right is that right we did, and, we did. Uh, yeah yeah so you, maybe you can tell us a bit more now that we have seen and uh <clears throat> so well, what do you conduct and how do people come there how do they contact you maybe you can share a bit more about that thank you thank you Sure. Yeah. You know, it has been our passion as long as Kira and I have been together. To... Which has been 20 years. I'm grateful for whoever found that on our website that was still saying 14. I'm like, where did you find that? That must be corrected. We actually start our 20th year of public service, January 3rd, 2022. My goodness. That's yeah. really incredible. And Thank that's you. a lot of work that you're doing for the whole of humanity. It's a blessing. It, it is indeed a joy. Uh, and uh, the thing I wanted to share is that everywhere we have gone, and we were very much world citizens, and uh, in our travels around the world, we are discovering the sacred reflecting in so many countries, in so many places, and in the eyes of so many beings. And that sacredness is indeed to be cherished, to be respected, and to be amplified by witnessing it mm -hmm. and this is what Tosa Blue Mountain is and you know Tosa Blue Mountain is a culmination of our really we moved here in our 17th year of journey no no we, we've been here five years so it would have been our 15th year and what happened was that Shri and I in 2010 were shown very strong visions and had to make a decision do we literally sell out to the media that put a lot of big contracts in front of us and mm -hmm. and just take the easy path 
Or do we honor what Lord Shiva is guiding us to do and saying you must leave the United States, you'll never go back, you must become citizens of the world. Uh, I was downloaded all of these ascended energies of, of assembling Rudraksha and, and the up level of that. And so we started our journey. And who would have thought that the first seven years of our journey, we were living in Guatemala where we evolved our first Tosa La Laguna. And we were living among the Highland Mayan to the point where we got written into the Book of Days. Here we are, these two universal beings who were written into the Book of Days, the only non-Mayan in there, about this unification energy, the oneness energy of the heart. And they begged us, so we produced a book. They said, please tell our story, not the story that those that are making money want to hear. So we put out 2013 Mayan Sunrise, which is still in print today at Kindle. And um, so we put out that book for them. And then the universe called us to Uruguay. And it was Lord Shiva who brought us to the end of the world, to the bottom of the planet. Because during those two years, which were the hardest two years, emotionally, physically, in every way that could have been, I had the blessing, Sri and I had the blessing of spending two years literally in the cave with Lord Shiva. And during then, all of the cosmic life regression, all, everything came forward, everything came forward, everything came forward. And we wound up here at Tosa Blue Mountain, literally, because at our property at Tosa, uh, at our property in Uruguay, which was extraordinary, skies, you know, that part, that far down, the skies are incredible. Sri and I were meditating out in a field of pyramids we had created there as well. And the brightest star we've ever seen. And I clearly heard Ecuador. And a week later, we were on the plane. Two weeks later, we bought this property, which was in shambles. And we're here today with the blessing of having restored this to the level where the government of Ecuador, the, the Department of Tourism, has actually approved us as a five-star hacienda. Um, and that is something that we are very grateful for because we also have a museum here where we honor all cultures. I always share with people, let us bring Asia to you. And so people come here from Ecuador that never dream they would see the things they see here. And so what, what this represents is kind of, we, we call it lovingly our home base of light in the center of the planet, in the heart of the world, that when people come here, they're, they're in a zone where the sea of neutrality welcomes them because through the oneness, we hold open the sea of neutrality, thereby knowing and being that everyone has the right to be heard. We don't have to agree. And so when people come here for the first time in their lives, they're eating extremely healthy food. They're breathing incredibly eucalyptus infused air. I mean, naturally all day long, they're drinking pure water there. And we have archeological sites as well. So it's about radiating our unification and celebrating our diversification in real time as we walk this new experience rather than collapse into the fear of the experience. Yeah. So it is a little bubble and we know it and we're really grateful we can sustain it. <laughs> Absolutely. And congratulations, wow, that the government gave you that uh, recognition of a five star retreat. This Thank is uh, the, the the, the top of it and i'm yeah. sure that it's not only physical but all the heart and soul that you poured in both of you with all the energies and the aura and the way like you i can feel that all we can be seven seas and miles and miles away but i can feel that love that care the concern that that you want to share it with everyone everyone just everyone on the globe <laughs> and well, hopefully I'd like to join uh, someday. We would like to be there. <laughs> yeah. Por favor, mi amor. <laughs> please come. Please come. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> one, of, one of the spiritual principles that we see in example uh, every day is that when people stop obsessing about their thoughts, their worries, and begin to breathe and relax, the soul comes forward, mm -hmm. the heart comes forward, and the truth of all those lifetimes of attainment starts to manifest more freely. And so Tosa Blue Mountain is truly a sanctuary, a place where there's no EMF, there's no stress, there is beauty and waterfalls and trails and meditation benches and, and, and pristine healthy food and of course temples to accelerate one's inner DNA. <laughs> and a spa to accelerate one's deep relaxation <laughs> because you have to have the spa don't you <laughs> and that's the other thing we do is 
right? We are Kaira. Good yeah, morning, namaste to you. This is Neil Kumar from London. Hi, Hello, Neil. Dear. Namaste, sweetheart. Shri and Kaira, there was something very exciting the previous time when you were here because both of you have got much more experience and facets connected to you than just this. You talked about the walking trees previous time. The beautiful part that I like is that you are in a pure oxygen area and it's so beautiful. And in this pandemic time, may I request, although you are standing, can we just have three, four or five minutes of a nice meditation for you to bring the calmness for people with this new pandemic time? So, it's our own. Yeah, let's just have a three or four or five minutes of a soothing meditation from both of you in your style so we can bring that calmness and coolness where you are standing right now. I love it. That's this is a fig leaf. Yeah, these Savani, are. This... You can see, Saivani, you can yes. see, yes. although Mauritius is beautiful, yeah, you've got a beautiful Ecuador with these two wonderful souls which are bring a touch of uh, 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 <laughs> unity, you know, oneness. I can Absolutely. see some oneness there. Yes, yes. definitely, definitely. It's, it's like the same beauty is all around us. Sometimes we fail to see it. And when somebody presents it to us, then, oh, yeah, this is really amazing. And it, it's, you know, eye catching. Well, we're looking forward. And this is a very good idea, Neil, sir, that we have a few moments of, you know, meditation. Let me bring the fountain in a little more. It's not on that one. Oh, it's, okay. well, then I'm going to do this. Hold on. Yeah. And Sri, I'm going to ask you to move over where I was. There we are. And we'll, we'll, we'll also offer you a little of the, the water as well. There we are. Does that work? Yes, so you've got perfect. oxygen, you've got water, and we have got Sri and Kaira. So let's meditate for a while. All right, beloved ones. Now is a good time to just take a deep breath and relax. So, so beautiful. We invite you to take several more breaths. And on the inhale, I want you to think the word Ave, which means I recognize the divine. So we inhale the divine, Ave, and we release without any resistance, Sa. I surrender to that divine energy. Now let's do that quietly together three times, thinking in, uh, on the inhale, Ave, on the exhale, Sa, pure surrender. Begin, please, Ave. 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 Allowing your breath to have a natural rhythm, simply notice. As the breath comes into your chest, the heart expands. Simply notice your heart center. If there is any emotion or tightness there, Allow the breath to soften your own heart center. I am peace. I am love. So. 
anchoring your ascended heart as the root center of the ascended state of being, we notice the body is quiet, the heart is stable. And now is a good time to quietly say your prayer of divine connection. Let us be quiet and each of us share our prayer with the divine now. Breathing in the air of illumination, feeling the energy of the eternal presence, the smile, the joy, the lift, wrapping the energy of compassion around yourself in all ways, honoring that root chakra that knows that you deserve because you were born lifting that energy up, breathing that energy up, bringing all of the beauty that you are into your heart center. Notice the expansion. You may want to open your arms. Let your head simply relax in whatever position is comfortable. And notice the illumination lifting you as if you are pillars of light, illuminated, 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 radiating out through the sea that has zero judgment, anchored in the compassion of all that you are, and seeing the greater vision that is yours to claim. Sealing that energy into your heart, Another deep Ave Sabra. So, with a smile, I am here. I am ready. I am open. Guide me. I am here. I am ready. I am open. Guide me. I am here. I am ready. I am open guide me, relaxing the breath, receiving the radiation of love, the blessing of sincerity, and the miracle of your ascended presence, fully anchored, restoring, rejuvenating, inspiring, and celebrating. Wow, Shri and Kaira, while you were basking in the sun, with the sound of the rippling water, in that beautiful greenery there with the pure oxygen, what a calmness and serenity was going through your mind. So let the audience know wherever they are watching from, if they want to experience this, fly yourself to Ecuador and be the part of Shri and Kaira. Thank you very much from Healing Our Earth. Over to you, Saivani, a nice goodbye to them. Sri and Kaira, in case if you are about after three or four hours, do sign in and then maybe give a little meditation then and there again. The we show is getting on right through to your time. It will be going on till about 3, 4 p.m. And it's wonderful to see you, the soothing calmness eminence coming from you. May earth bless you forever and ever. Over to you, Saivan. Thank you. Well. Thank you, Nisa. Thank you so much, Riji and Kairaji. That was totally elevating. 
and my sister and my mother they are so excited because you know to have uh the all that you have said in the beginning and during the meditation as well it brings us deep within ourselves sometimes we look outside the outer world but inner our inner self has such a wonderful deep and vast world that sometimes we forget that we have to explore that too thank you for giving us that opportunity and that little moment it felt like forever it did <laughs> Thank well, you. We love you. Thank you for the blessing. And, and you know, for those of you that can't fly to Ecuador, go to sriankira.com and join us New Year's Eve when we'll be doing this again as well. And we'll try to make it in at the end of the show if we can. We'll do our best. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we've got Sima here, uh, Sri and Kaira. Sima, what were your thoughts as you were enjoying the meditation too? It was a lovely big bowl of nourishment. Thank you both so much. The rippling water in the background was so effective. And you really do carry the energy of this place you're living in through your words and you really transmit them, trans, uh, transmit them very powerfully to us with the Ave and the Sa. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for letting us be your mirror, my angel. Many blessings. <laughs> Amen. And Shri and, and Shri and Kaira, we have also got Sudhir, who is our next uh, singer here, who is going to bring in Lots and lots of melodic things. Sudhir, what were your thoughts listening to this nice meditation in Ecuador? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, sorry. Yes, loud and clear. Go ahead. I'll turn off my mic uh, before I sing. Anyways, it's lovely, lovely to go through such an amazing experience and lovely artists and uh, amazing, wonderful. Beautiful. Well, Sri and Kaira, we love you and healing our earth. You are a part of the family. We bid you goodbye just temporarily in case you are there in the evening, our evening time and your afternoon time. You're welcome once again. Take care and hasta la vista. Hasta la vista and mucho amor. Gracias. Thank you.